The road to the National Football League is long and winding. For 10 Ohio Bobcats, that road ran through Peden Stadium on March 8th as Ohio University held its annual Pro Day. Scouts from at least seven NFL teams put the players through a series of drills. For LeVon Brazil, who participated in the 2012 NFL Combine, it was a workout he was all too familiar with. It was just different, you know. I, I'm, I already know what was going on, so I pretty much came in here more comfortable than ever, probably everybody else, so because I knew what was going on, so just comfortable, relaxed. Two standouts for the green and white in the weight room were Phil Bates and Noah Keller. Bates posted a 40 and a half inch vertical and a 10 foot 8 inch broad jump. Keller benched 225 pounds, an impressive 28 times to go along with his 37 inch vertical. Both players showed they have ability. Now, they just need a chance. You know, all it takes is just kind of one team to like you, and so I'm just hoping to, you know, find that team and find the right fit for me. And, uh, you know, I'm confident in my abilities and just hope that, you know, if I, you know, get a shot at a team, you know, I'll definitely, I'm confident that I'd be able to make it, so that's all I'm hoping for. It does not matter. If they want to put me at safety, put me at safety, linebacker, quarterback, kick return, anything, it does not matter, so. Receiver Riley Dunlop was impressive with his legs, running a personal best 40 times. I felt good, yeah. I mean, I heard the first time I heard, I heard two people say 4.46, and yeah, I got excited because I was just trying to hit 4.49. If I was going to get low 4.5s, I would have been happy, but uh, I, was, I was feeling good, feeling loose. I think the adrenaline, adrenaline helped a little bit, and uh, yeah, it definitely, definitely worked. Dunlop, Bates, Brazil, and Jerry Gross caught passes in front of the scouts as well, but not from who you would expect. Marietta quarterback Andrew Keller filled in as the gunslinger and impressed a guy who was catching passes from Heisman hopefuls just a few weeks ago. Oh man, he did, uh, he wasn't no Tyler Tellington, but uh, he did real good today, man. Uh, for someone we didn't we didn't really have time to throw with him, and he got used to the uh, the receivers, but uh, he really clicked on and he, he threw well today. Now these young men will be playing the waiting game. Whether or not they hear their name called on draft day remains to be seen, but one thing is for sure. And it was just great to see all my guys here and we had fun and we did our, we did our Bobcat thing out here today.